Good morning guys, welcome to Colorado. Actually, more specifically, I am in, well, lighting, hello. Good morning, I am in Boulder, Colorado, and I'm super excited because we have a really fun day planned today, and I thought I'd bring you guys along. I'm just about to leave the hotel, however, this morning I woke up and I got a quick workout in, which is rare because we've been traveling and been on the road and just haven't really had much time, but yeah, so I hit up the gym, and you guys always ask me what I do, and I already let you know I do those like YouTube workouts at the moment because I'm loving them, particularly love Rebecca Louise, and I'll put up here the name names of the workouts that I love doing because you guys always ask me that and I usually do about two to three when I do it I would like to do two a day but um, yeah I haven't been doing that at the moment <laughs> so today I did two I did a butt one and an ab one and yeah I was kind of dying to be honest um, I was not feeling it this morning but I feel really good now I just had a cold shower wash my hair and now we're about to go get breakfast so yeah Let's do it. It's afternoon. It's really exciting because we are. I'm really excited because we are going to a tiny house hotel, which is pretty much where you rent a tiny house for the night. And I am so excited. Do I have everything? All right. So technically, we're only in Boulder for half a day because we're going to be going to these tiny houses, which is like out a little bit. Um, but we're going to try and make the most of being in Boulder. This lighting is lovely. I was going to film the door opening and then you were there. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you downstairs. Good morning. Ah. It's a little bit cold here. For breakfast, I got pancakes, which are the banana gluten-free pancakes and they're completely oil-free as well, which is nice. And I also got an acai bowl with granola and banana without the honey. And yeah, these are quite small portions. So luckily that I ordered two things. Maple syrup. So what's the coconut All stuff here? over. This is some sort of chocolate coconut whip. It's like, it looks like ganache or something. Mmm. Oh. Bad. Why would anyone make something so bitter? Maybe if you mix it with the maple syrup. Yeah. Good. I don't know. Really good pancakes though. And the assay, let's see. Mm, not bad, not the best. But these pancakes are really well. That place was awesome. If you're looking for healthy vegan pancakes in Boulder, definitely check it out. All right, we're gonna go and explore now. He comes the sun. <laughs> what? I just think that song was really song. fitting for this. He comes the sun. Do 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 do. He comes the sun. He comes the sun. Okay, hotel's packed. Things are in the car, we're ready to go and explore Whole Foods, get some more food, then get some more food, then drive to the tiny houses, prepare more food. <laughs> but seriously, because we're not gonna have anywhere to eat tomorrow for the whole day, so we need to somehow figure out how we're going to eat. Because we're driving from Boulder to Utah, and yeah, I don't think there's much, I don't think there's much in between. Ready? Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Whole Foods. To get what? Um, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs? That's not vegan, is it? Oh. Uh, wait, do it again. Okay. No, quickly, the lift. Oh, oh, you did it, you did it. This Whole Foods is so intense. Like. Okay, guys, here it is. The very first vegan egg. I haven't had egg in almost three years. I'm a little suspicious of this. Open wait, up. wait, wait, wait. It's so oily. Can you spit it out? Oh, spit it out. I mean, that, okay, I did not like that. It tastes like real egg, but the texture is like A slimy. Oh, I don't know. That, wait, Tim's trying it. I think I took like a way too big of mouthful. Huh. You like it? 
I'll try a little of one. Mm, I still don't like it. This is the bacon. Oh, that's smoky. Ooh, that looks better. Oh, sweet potato? Yeah, sweet potato. So we just had a bit of a snack. I mean, no, pre-lunch, I guess it was, kind of. But, um, yeah, we're also gonna get pizza and take it to the tiny house, and we're gonna cook food there. So there's so many vegan options to try here in Boulder, so I need to just get them all in today, you know what I mean? So yeah, so we're just doing some shopping now and getting everything that we need for dinner tonight. Frozen rice, black beans, oat milk, corn, of course. Is that too big? No, I get it. Successful Whole Foods shop. And now we are en route to get some pizza. Apparently, this place has the goods. There we go. Alrighty guys, here we are. Maybe we should get a tiny house. Here's our little door. This one's really pretty actually. Here you go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, how cute. Wow. Look at this couch. It little hangs on little ropes and oh, got a tiny little closet and a bathroom, shower, cute little shower curtain. I'm gonna take you upstairs to the bedroom. Okay, thanks. Give us the full tour. Yep. This, you're definitely gonna stack it if you have to come down here in the middle of the night. Oh, wow. How cute. This is our home for the next night. So excited to be staying in our tiny house. Two burners, that's so good. A sink, so much bench space. I love it. Here is my pizza. It's cold, but it tastes really good. Look at this little light. It's got a jar, a green chili jar as a globe. I like it. Ooh, I'm actually gonna sit and eat my pizza outside. Wow, it's so beautiful here. It's good to be out of the air conditioning. Mm. This is really good pizza. My day of eating has been all over the place because we're traveling. <laughs> um, so it's like five o'clock right now. I'm really eating the second part of my lunch, but whatever. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to talk to you guys about what oh, I've been doing. I'm sorry, I know this is really annoying a lot of you. I'm just so hungry and I want to talk to you. So I have been listening to a lot of audio, well, not a lot, I've listened to two audiobooks so far, but they were each about six hours long, so it was a task to get through them. But it's a really good way to kill time when you're in the car and you're traveling and you really have nothing else to do. The first one I listened to was Big Magic. I um, actually first heard about this this book last year while I was in LA. And um, I kind of just didn't, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I didn't listen to it because I guess we were talking about it so much last time I was here in LA with Asina and stuff. And I kind of just put off listening to it because it kind of reminded me of that time of my life. And But now I was like, yeah, I'm really gonna listen to it because I, I really do think it's an amazing book. So. I listened to it and um, it's honestly amazing. You guys should definitely check it out. It's called Big, Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And it's all about like creativity and the idea behind creativity. And it just makes you feel so good listening to it because it gives you all this confidence. And it's just a really positive way at looking at creativity and ideas and how they come to you and leave you and inspiration in general and working hard towards something and yeah it's just I, it's really hard to explain without me ranting for a really long time about it but if you if you want to do something a little more creative in your life and you're finding it hard to do so then just listen to this book because it's changed so many things for me the second one i'm listening to which has also been a massive game changer is called money and the law of attraction and by the title you make it makes it seem like it only talks about money but it really talks about everything in life like health relationships and friendships and just goals in general yeah it's i mean i'm sure everyone kind of understands the law of attraction to some degree but when you listen to eight hours of it it really gets ingrained into you and you find you you start realizing how hard it is to actually use the law of attraction when you're feeling negative so pretty much if you don't know anything about the law of attraction the idea behind and um, this book is actually the one that created all the others like the secret and all those other ones so this is like the original and uh, it talks about 
how whatever you think about is what you get whether you want it or not and you need to think of if you want something in your life you need to think of it from a place of love and um, happiness rather than a place of lack so you know if you're really want something in your life and you're constantly complaining about wanting it and you're thinking about it but you're thinking about it in a negative way or coming from a negative position to begin with then it's never gonna come to you you're only gonna get more negativity because that's what you're th feeling and thinking so it's really it talks about how you feel and if you feel a certain way you're gonna continue to say on that vibrational level so it's also something that you just have to read because she just says it over and over and over again so many different situations and circumstances that come up in your day-to-day -day life and she like really covers them and she also one thing that I'm still finding really hard to resonate with is the fact that she talks about health and wellness in a way that it's all about your thoughts and it doesn't really matter what you eat or like what you do and obviously I don't agree with that to some degree because I know that what I eat vegan wise makes me feel good and then that's going to continue to you know bring health um, so yeah she does mention that like eat what makes you feel good but she doesn't necessarily recommend an, a particular certain diet or lifestyle she thinks it's all about your thoughts and and I definitely agree uh, to some level it's so important to enjoy what you're doing and enjoy what you're eating and not thinking negative things about it because if you're thinking negative things about it it's going to do negative things inside of your body as well you know what I mean so and I think if you have a certain goal of to you know be a certain fitness or to eat a certain way and you're feeling positively about it then that's going to come through the law of attraction as well I'm not making any sense that well especially with money because People view money as this object that controls their life. And when you start to look at it a little more freely, it tends to flow to you much more freely. My friend who told me about this book, she's like one of the most successful people I know and I really look up to her, her name's Simone. And she just kills it in every aspect of life. And when she told me about this, this book, I was like, that is why you're like, so good about life <laughs> she just does what she enjoys you know and therefore she gets really good results from it she doesn't stress about it constantly she just has this like kind of free flowing mentality where it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes and that's really helped her out so yeah that's what I've been listening to while on the road if you guys have any audiobook recommendations please leave them down in the comments because I'm almost finished this law of attraction one and I would really love to have some more and if you've read or listened to any of the books that i said also let me know so i can see how it's affected you and um, what kind of positive changes you found from them how they've helped you at all i'm rambling i'm gonna go finish my pizza do a little bit of editing and then i'm gonna make dinner because i'm still hungry all righty we have dinner cooking here we've got some frozen rice and heating that up in the pan usually i would microwave this but we don't have a microwave. We're roughing it out in the wilderness. All right, and then in this pot over here, we've got some black beans, frozen corn, of course. This is my favorite corn. It's, it's called um, the cancer corn. It's called, what is it? Fire roasted corn. And Tim calls it the cancer corn, which is definitely not true. Add the salsa now. So this is salsa from Whole Foods. There we go. This is my super lazy meal. Definitely not the most efficient pan to heat up rice in. Let's go eat. Are you ready to get a tiny house? A hundred percent. Yeah? <laughs> We're gonna go steal Hannah's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just so much lettuce. I just, you should have got the little bag. We're having a little family dinner here. We just got our little bowls. A little camp out. The taste test. What was that? Did I get like green? <sighs> Bed. This is my favorite part of the tiny house. These lights. How cute. I am a little scared I'm gonna roll off though, I mean. All right, guys, so I'm going to go to bed now. I'm actually so tired, like, um, because as we've been traveling, the time zone's been changing as well, so we've been, it feels like we're not staying up late, but we are staying up late, if that makes sense. Um, so tonight, I'm looking forward to getting an earlier night and, yeah, just chilling out. I'm going to do a little bit more editing, and then I'm going to get to sleep. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. So we just woke 
woke up and we were so cold because we left all the windows open in the tiny house. So we had to run yeah, down. Why didn't you close that one? I thought I did. Tim, what are you doing? It's cold. <laughs> you can't do this for long, it's wasteful. Yeah, I know, I'm only doing it for a second. Okay. I hear you guys, alright? I don't know. <laughs> okay, time to pack up. Baby, what are you listening to? Yeah, it's watermelon time. Mm, sounds very good. I've been having mainly oats. Oh, it's cracking open. That's a really good sign. Ooh. Mm. As usual, we took too long taking photos and we're in a hurry. Checkout was at 10. And I think it's like 10.20. Maybe even 10.30 right now. Kind of scared to look at the time, to be honest. Tim has made some oatmeal, so we're going to... Eat this in the car and then eat some oatmeal as well because this probably won't be enough. And then we're going to head on the road again and drive for another seven and a half hours today. All right, last minute checks. Did you bring this tissue box with you? No. So, the verdict? Would we live in a tiny house ourselves? No. We can't live in a tiny house because we're not organized enough. Yeah, that's... I feel that's like a tiny houses suit people that hold on, have hold on, hold on. a lot of organization going we're gonna on live that's in just a, not us we're gonna live in a small house and incorporate a whole lot of this like ideas and stuff yeah i want like an open really open small house this is what we were talking about last night guys i think it's time to say goodbye to the tiny house oh by the way if you guys want to stay in a tiny house this place is called we casa we casa we casa doesn't this look like the perfect venue to have like a festival or something like a like a vegan festival and we can each have our own little tiny house that would be so cool. Anyway, Tim's yelling at me, I have to go. I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're just gonna be driving for the next nine hours. Okay, have you got the key? Bye! On to the next adventure. I'll see you guys in Salt Lake City. Bye!